Today we're going to be talking about how you can become an air traffic controller in South Africa. Welcome to Brilliant Academic, the channel where we cover all things related to careers and academics. In order to fully understand the process of becoming an air traffic controller, ATC, in South Africa, it is important to understand the role and responsibilities of an ATC. Air traffic controllers are responsible for ensuring the safe and efficient movement of aircraft in the airspace under their control. They use radar, radio communications, and other equipment to track aircraft and provide information and instructions to pilots. To become an air traffic controller in South Africa, individuals must meet certain requirements set by the South African Civil Aviation Authority, the SACAA, and complete training at a SACAA-approved training organization. Educational Requirements Individuals must have at least a National Senior Certificate or equivalent with a minimum of 50% in Mathematics and 50% in English. This is the minimum requirement for education for an air traffic controller since being an ATC requires a strong foundation in Mathematics, Physics and English. Furthermore, the academic background in Mathematics and Physics will help the trainee understand the principles of flight and navigation better. Medical Requirements before applying to become an ATC, candidates must meet the SACAA's medical requirements, which include passing a medical examination that certifies that they are fit to perform the duties of an air traffic controller. This examination is a mandatory requirement and the medical fitness criteria are set out by the SACAA. The examination will include a thorough review of the individual's overall health, including vision, hearing, and cardiovascular fitness, as well as any other medical conditions that could affect their ability to perform the duties of an ATC. If you are in need of advice related to school, academics, and or careers, email academiccoaching.southafrica at gmail.com for one-on-one -on -one consultations. academiccoaching.southafrica at gmail.com ATC Training After meeting the educational and medical requirements, Candidates must complete an air traffic control training program at a SACAA approved training organization. The training program will cover a wide range of topics including air traffic control theory, meteorology, navigation, aviation legislation, communication and radar procedures, and human factors and decision making. The theoretical training will take place in a classroom setting with a combination of lectures and interactive exercises to provide a thorough understanding of the subject matter. During the theoretical training, the trainees will learn about the principles of flight, navigation, and airspace management. They will also learn about the different types of aircraft and how they are operated, as well as the different types of air traffic control services, including air traffic control clearance, flight information service, and advisory service. Additionally, they will learn about the different types of airspace such as controlled airspace, controlled airspace with lower limits, and uncontrolled airspace, and the procedures for entering and exiting each type of airspace. The trainees will also learn about the different types of air traffic control equipment and systems, such as radar, communication systems, navigation aids, and how they are used to provide air traffic services. The trainees will also learn about the different types of flight plans and how they are used to manage aircraft traffic. ATC Practical Training After the completion of the theoretical training, the next step is to complete a practical training program. During the practical training, the trainees will have the opportunity to apply the knowledge and skills they have acquired during the theoretical training in a simulated air traffic control environment. The practical training will be done in a controlled airspace of the airport where a candidate will be posted after the completion of the training. The trainee will work alongside senior air traffic controllers who will provide guidance and instruction. This will be a great opportunity for trainees to put their theoretical learning into practice. Click here to find out how you can become a pilot in South Africa. That's it you guys, thanks for watching. Do check out my other videos and as always, mischief managed.